All right, all right, everybody. Today is going to be an awesome training. You guys are, are here to get a Facebook training. And tonight's Monday Night Mastermind, we are going to focus on your local market. And what's really great about your local market is it's a lot easier, you know, to, to do events. Um, you, you can really build, you know, really close relationships with the people that you bring on. And, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of fun, really. And it's a really easy way uh, on Facebook to, to do this. And I, I'm, I'm going to share with you um, why here in just a minute. Uh, we, we've got on uh, the Monday Night Mastermind tonight, we've got Jason and David, um, and they will be um, answering questions uh, at the end of, of this training um, with me. And, uh, and so let's go ahead and just get started here. So here's the deal with Facebook. Um, there's many times where it's it, Facebook puts stumbling blocks in people's way that that prevents you know information getting to you know the prospect that you're prospecting, and what I mean by that is um, you see this other folder here right here. A lot of times when you are trying to reach out to somebody and you send them a personal message, it will go into this folder. And Facebook really does not notify you of, you know, when you get a message in your other folder. The only way that you know is if you open this up and you see that if there's a number right here by the other, okay? So, how do you get around that? Let me show you. Okay. So, can, by the way, can everybody see my screen okay? Dave and Jason, can you see it okay? Yes. Good? Yes, yeah, yes, you're it. good. All right. All right. I didn't want to get too far into this and find out that you guys couldn't see. So, all right. So, what we're going to do is... I've got two tabs open, all right, and I do this every day, um, and I've been doing this for a little little while. Let me show you. Let's see. I think it's this one. No, that was from my earlier training. I'm not sure where it's at right now. But I have a I have a worksheet that I that I that I created, and I will upload that to the Monday Night Mastermind group as a bonus to this training. And what it is is basically it's a bunch of you know uh, check boxes that I print off every day, and there's a hundred check boxes there, and then there's you know some other things where you know make a blog, syndicate the blog, do that kind of stuff. Um, and that helps me keep track of how well I do. You know, I don't normally get 100 a day. In fact, I I rarely ever uh, get past 50. But I would, I mean, m most people out there, most marketers, are not even doing 10 a day. Okay, so you you need to understand that this is a numbers game. All right. Even if you're doing your local market, which is which is a little warmer than you, you know your cold cold market, okay. So this this is like a, this is an in between a cold and 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 warm market, okay. If you guys don't know what warm market is, warm market is like your friends, your family, uh, you know really close acquaintances and the cold market is people who've never heard of you at all all right so today we are going to focus on 
I don't know what you would call this market. Lukewarm market? <laughs> so uh, I always open two tabs because it makes it easier. And what I do is, is I go to the, the search function, okay? And I type in, you know, something, people from Manhattan, you know, because that's where I live, Manhattan, Kansas. And the first thing I do, and and let, let's just let's just click here to to see more filters because you can get so targeted with this. And I suggest, I highly suggest that you do get targeted with this, and you keep track of what targets that you do every day. Okay, so you're not uh, messaging you know the same person twice because if you're messaging you know 40 50 people a day um, there's a chance that you might have you know you might forget that you message that person and message them again and that that just that's not cool that's not cool <laughs> um, so you, you can get really detailed with this all right and what I always do is I always do friends of my friends Okay, so we're going to consider that our local market. All right, you can categorize, you know, by uh, female or male, uh, by relationship, you know, single, married, divorced, engaged, widowed, any type of, of uh, categorization that you can think of, you can do. Um, let's, let's just go here let's go widowed I haven't I haven't really messed with that at all so um, friends of friends all right so as you can see uh, you can you can message him from here you know that saves a lot of time okay um, and it, and as you can see there's there's not that little box now some of these some of these will have the little box even and I've noticed even if, if you've got a few uh, mutual friends some of these still will have uh, the little box that says this is going to go into their other folder right but most of these aren't and, and that's really good because you know that your messages are, are you know getting to them you, you know that they're going to get a little notification up here saying that they got a message all right and the goal here, the goal is not to close them on Facebook, okay? The goal here is to talk with them, engage with them, see if, if you know, they are somebody that you want on your team because this is local. Remember, you know, you don't want everybody... Uh, you know, there's certain people <laughs> that you definitely don't want on your team locally, all right, you know, because they, you know, have really good access to you, you know, and, uh, you know, if you get somebody that, that just, you know, is needy and, and stuff like that, I mean, you, guys, sometimes you might find somebody knocking on your door, you know, and, and you're not going to want that. You want to be particularly, particularly uh, discriminatory of who you get on your local team. All right. So um, let's let's just let's just do one here. Let me show you the way I do it. Okay. So here's Larry. All right. Uh, looks like he's a sales guy. That's great. That's I mean that's perfect in my industry. Um, I'm going to copy and paste his name. So copy, which is uh, control C or command C if you're a uh, Mac, and control V for paste. And so we go to his profile. Now you can see that there, there are some, um, there's a little bit of information about Larry here, but it's not enough information for me, okay? I want to go to their profile. I want to see their pictures. 
I want to see their posts. Um, I want to see what kind of person is this, what, what, what things are they talking about, what things are they interested in. It looks like this guy is really, really into baseball, and I, I love baseball. You know, I'm not a big, you know, sports fan at all. I never watch games, but I love playing, you know, football. I love playing baseball, you know. Um, I don't, I don't ever keep track of players or anything, but this guy looks like, you know, I mean, this, this is, this is not something that I, I like, you know, necessarily. Um, but this doesn't look like too bad of a, a prospect here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look in his about folder, uh, Manhattan Broadcasting. It's from Junction City, which is just the next town, next city away. It's, and uh, two of my, my ex-coworkers, actually, so uh, maybe he's affiliated with... Uh, the the uh, place that I used to work at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to message Larry. I'm going to say, hey, Larry. And bear with me because I am not very good at speaking and, and typing at the same time. So I'm going to be quiet real quick while I type this. Okay, so what I did was I just wrote a very short message. You know, I let him know what I was doing. You know, I was looking through Facebook's friends of friends, and uh, I saw your profile. Uh, I think it's really cool that you are in sales. Um, so I, 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 you know, let him know something cool. You, you wanna, you wanna sort of, you know, let him know. Uh, you want to like compliment them in some way, okay? Um, and then ask them a question. You know, looks like we both know a couple people who use who I used to work with at Metal Arc Hills. And I probably could have worded that a little bit better. Um, looks like we both know a couple people. Uh, I, th I think I'll leave it that way, who I I used to work with at Metal Arc Hills. Uh, did you ever work there? And I might say, have we met, you know, or something like that. But I think I'm just going to make it really simple because the, the, the point of this is to get them to reply back. And if you can do that, then you can start a dialogue with that person and eventually 
All right, this isn't a, a fast process. Okay, eventually, once you get to know them, um, you can uh, ask if they want to, if they are open to receiving some info, you know, and uh, about, you know, your company or your products, um, you know, uh, something like that. So that, in a nutshell, is the way it is. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and send this. And a lot of times, guys, what I've seen, what I've, what I've noticed is um, one out, out of every ten people will respond pretty quickly, okay? Um, now, the numbers go up longer. You know, a lot of times people are on Facebook all the time. Um, and, and usually, you know, I'll, I'll do a whole bunch of these during the day. Um, and and uh, and then in the evenings when they get home, then they 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 start you know uh, messaging me back you know and answering my questions and stuff like that. So that's that's just a basic nutshell thing that I do every day. It's been working really well in my business. Um, you can. You can do as many of these as, as you possibly can, you know can. Uh, you're not going to get Facebook slapped for for doing a, a hundred messages, um, unlike you know if you're if you're you know posting all over groups and everything. And um, I think uh, I think David did a, a a previous webinar where where he showed you you know a better way to uh, post in groups. A way that actually works. So if you if you haven't seen, uh, or or if you don't know how to do that, or if you're spamming and it's not working, uh, then you'll want to check out David's uh, 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 video that he did. I think he posted it in the group in in the Monday Night Mastermind group. So um, with that, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, stop the training now and get into some questions and answers. All right. So if you've got a question, uh, go ahead and um, and post it in the chat. Let's see, we tonight we don't have very many people on here. Um, David and Jason, do you want to go ahead and unmute? We might. Oh, okay. Just, yeah, I'm uh, back. I'm back. Uh, one question I actually yeah. had from this was from. Uh, in the group earlier, they were asking about uh, what you had talked about last week, David. With that, on average, how long does it take to hear back from people, and how long should they expect for the whole process to take? I mean, when I did that, I did that on a Friday, and uh, I was pretty much – sorry, go ahead, Joshua. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to ask – is that for me or David? But I think it's for you. Yeah, when, yeah, I, when I did that, it was on a, a Friday, and I pretty much had people um, replying back to me almost immediately and then throughout the whole weekend. So when it that when that particular strategy works successfully, uh, normally it, it happens pretty fast because we have a lot of people that are very enthusiastic about just telling you about their company. So it's not something that really would take you a long amount of time if you hit the right group at the right time. Okay, and then you could also answer that also, Josh, since you had, you know, trained a little bit on that as well, because that was, you had the question I had told you all about that I had earlier, but she's not on, so that's why I wanted to ask that. So you can answer that as well, Josh. Okay, uh, could you repeat the question real quick? Yeah, she was asking because she was on the training last week, and so she she was looking at, what he had talked about, and she was saying just how long is that whole process going to take when you reach out to people, hear what they have to offer, and see how, you know, learn more about them and provide them value? Um, well, it really depends. It really depends um, on each person. And, um, you know, when I first started uh, doing this, I would I would just get right into it. I would just get, you know, um, I would just say, you know, something like, "Hey, I'm I'm an executive uh, recruiter for an online company, and uh, we're looking for reps uh, in this area, and um, 
you know, this is something that you could do from home. Uh, it's a great way to, to make some extra money on the side. Would you, would you be open to receiving some info? And, you know, a, a lot of, you know, times when you use the word open um, instead of interested or, you know, something like that, um, the responses are, are better, you know. And uh, a, a lot of times I would. I would get, you know, people to, to be open to, you know, looking at my info. Um, but uh, um, as far as closing, that, that was kind of a lot more difficult uh, when I really got into it um, uh, too quickly, you know, um, because I, I hadn't built, you know, really built any type of rapport or anything like that. So uh, it's really important to, to get them to kind of trust you. You know, even though you you have some of the same friends, um, you know, there's so many things going on in Facebook. You know, especially, um, I, you know, I, I've already had a couple, you know, of of uh, of uh, people who who appear to be, you know, my friends actually, um, and they're both older ladies, um, really just sweet people, and uh, all of a sudden I get messages from them saying, hey, have you heard about this, uh, or have you heard the good news? You know, I don't know if any of you guys have ever uh, received that, that th those questions uh, at all um, in, a, in a private message, and, and then it goes on that, you know, it's kind of scripted um, where, you know, they want to get you to send them money and, and stuff like that, and uh, what, what it really is is somebody uh, – acting like that person who, who built a profile um, exactly like that person and has, uh, you know, the same pictures and stuff like that. So stuff like that is, is happening out there. So you, it's really important for you to, uh, to build that trust, to get that rapport. Um, and, and, and like I said, this isn't for closing. This is to build that rapport. Um, and and maybe uh, uh, send them some info, but uh, um, what you know personally, uh, if I can get that person on the phone, or you know, if I can go, you know, have coffee with them and discuss, you know, some, some stuff. Um, that that's ultimately the best way you're going to get the results that, that you want, you know. Um, does that answer the question, Jason? Yeah, and what I was going to have her do since she's not on, I might have her look at the recording so she could just listen to that answer. Okay. Okay. And I don't see anyone else actually asking any questions. Um, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of people on tonight. We've got some. Uh, well, what, what actually then, happened? Last time, also, we actually had some that called in that were not actually on the list. And so I had actually, I was emailed some of the questions for all of those that were on the phone. So I don't know if we have anyone on the phone, but if we have anyone on, you can also message me a question as well. Yeah, because I don't know how to check how many people we have on the phone. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't show how many people we have on the phone, but on the on the actual webinar, we've got looks like Jessica and and Monique. Um, Jessica and Monique, if you have any questions, even if it, it doesn't regard Facebook or or this training that I just did, um, go ahead and and post it um, in the chat, and and we'll we'll uh, we'll answer it. We've got. Uh, all three of us are, are highly skilled, highly knowledgeable in, in this industry. So, Okay, uh, here's one from somebody that's on the phone. They had said, uh, when are we going to talk about PPC? And I know I'm actually touch on that next week. With I'm actually talk about Yahoo PPC, so I'm going to let her know that. Okay. All right, looks like we've got one um, from Monique. I, 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 hope I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. 
Um, my main question was knowing how long to wait until you talk about your business with the person you're chatting with, but you pretty much answered my question. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it is hard, like, you can, you can, uh, you can ask leading questions that can get you talking about business faster if you want, but it's, it's really, just to be honest, just to be plain honest with you, if you go into it too quickly, you're not going to get the results that you want. You know, people are skeptical. People, you know, um, need a little time, you know, to to warm up to you. You know, you got to remember it's still lukewarm. You know, it's not it's not warm market. You know, so um, you got to you got to heat that relationship up or relationship up a little bit, uh, just like just like you do with a. a a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you know, you you gotta, you know, ease into it and and uh, try to seduce them. <laughs> okay, here here's another question from I don't know who this is that was on the phone, but they had just messaged me. This is about solo ads, so this is aimed at you, David. They had looked at one of the trainings that is in the group. And then they just wanted to know they have fifty dollars. What is the best way to use that money on solo ads? Figure out if you can get clicks that are targeted. If you okay, let me restate the question. If you have fifty dollars and you want to know what can you do in the respect to solo ads, uh, what you need to do is try to find out one: can you get can you find a provider that has a list that's targeted to your offer? Then if you can do that. Ask him how many clicks he can give you for fifty dollars. He may already have a set price, but you may ask him anyway to see can he negotiate. Because if you tell him that well, I can spend fifty dollars with you every month, he may want to work with you. So fifty dollars normally uh, would normally buy around a hundred clicks based on the price per click. But usually, sometimes it could normally buy around a hundred clicks. But depending on the provider, it may buy less clicks than that. It may buy fifty clicks where you're paying a dollar a click. So, you know, don't, don't have this mindset of I only have this much money so I can't do solo ads. Find a provider that you feel like has something that works with what your offer is and sit and, and talk to the guy and see what they have to say about their particular offer or their particular service and see can you make something work. Okay. Uh, he's actually... Typing again right now. Okay. Okay, yeah, because he has said that um, the sponsor that brought him in said that he was going to have to look at about 100 or more for solo ads. That's why he was asking you because he doesn't have that budget right now. So that's why he was asking you about that. Okay, but what, what he's, I would suggest to him is not go by what somebody tells you to actually get into the marketplace and see what's actually taking place. So, you know, don't let somebody tell you you need this amount of money. Get in the marketplace and see what people are selling their solo ads for, okay? And then base that, compare that to the amount of money that you have. And there's nothing stopping you from reaching out to somebody and talking to them and see can you negotiate something with them. So even if you don't have $100 and all you have is 50, there's nothing, there's not gonna hurt you to email the guy and see can he work with you? If he says no, he says no. But don't go by if you're, you know, if you don't go by what your sponsor says because there are so many people in the marketplace that are selling solo ads. It's like ridiculous. You can find them just on Facebook. It's like it's bananas. Don't go by what your sponsor says. You need to actually go out here and, and do the legwork and find out what the prices really are. Okay. And we got we got a uh, another question from uh, Monique. Um, so when you're chatting, you're just having a normal conversation as you would a friend. Um, when you're doing friends and friends, uh, it, it's not like it's not like having a conversation with your particular friend. It, I mean, it's. 
it's like a lot of times friends of friends you you don't really know you might have seen them you know somewhere um, you know at a party or uh, or church or um, or you know work um, but usually friends of friends you don't really know that well so you got to build that relationship uh, kind of from scratch um, but a, a lot of times if they're friends of friends you got a lot in common already so um, it's easier it's easier to build that relationship with with uh, your friends of friends you know with your lukewarm market and that's why it's a, it's a good good uh, way to to uh, to build your team um, and you can get results you know a lot quicker than trying to do it from a cold market standpoint you know um, but uh, yeah yeah I, w I wouldn't you know try to talk to them like you you know you would uh, you know a friend right off the bat you know um, you know ask them questions you know, get to know them uh, like I said you know uh, it's, it's just it's a lot like you know getting into a relationship with a girlfriend or boyfriend you know you want to know everything that you can about them um, and uh, you know go from there so does that answer your question? All right. All right. So um, I don't see any more questions. Uh, Jason, is there any other questions coming through? If not, we'll we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Not any on my end. All right. And it looks like. We don't have any more questions, so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. And guys, I want you to do uh, something for us. Um, if you got value from this mastermind that we did, I want you to go on Facebook and I want you to post something, uh, your number one takeaway from tonight's mastermind. Okay? And just, you know, it could just be as simple as, you know, Hey, I just got off the Monday Night Mastermind. It was awesome, and I learned this. All right? So if you could do that for us, that would be wonderful. Um, again, next week we will be uh, uh, doing the Monday Night Mastermind, and Jason Lockhart will be uh, doing PPC. Is that right? Yes, on Yahoo and Bing on Yahoo and Bing. So next week is going to be really awesome. You thought this week was awesome. Next week is going to be really awesome. So be sure to be here next week. Uh, we love you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to, to Jason and, and David and let them uh, say their, their uh, stuff before we uh, close out here. Yeah, I'm going to just say that we appreciate all of you all that are here, and we hope you had value tonight, and we hope you are back next week. On to you, David. Yeah, I just want to say I appreciate everybody being on, and we really appreciate the engagement. Uh, keep coming with the questions because we're really here to try to help you uh, become a leader in the industry. So we really, really appreciate the engagement. Talk to you all next week.